Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to monitor a couch-based cluster, how to check other statistics and metrics, statistics monitoring methods. We can monitor the statistics from the dashboard and UI, REST API, CLI tools, external tools along with email alerts. Servers information. We can get the servers information from the servers tab in Couchbase UI. You can see the current CPU consumption and the percentage of RAM that is utilized and the amount of disk space in use and the number of active and replica items currently on the node. We can click on that particular node and see the OS version as you see here and the uptime since when the Couchbase service is up and running on that particular node. We can also see the RAM quotas allocated along with the data and index storage paths. This is my cluster. I can check the CPU and RAM here for each and every node and the current utilization details and I can see the disk utilized on that particular node. If I click on that particular node, I can see the operating system and the uptime, couch base version, RAM quota details along with the storage path for each and every service. Monitoring bucket statistics. We can monitor the bucket statistics either by clicking on the service tab and clicking on the statistics or we can also go to the buckets tab, click on the statistics link for the concerned bucket. Statistics UI contains summary statistics, server resources, vbucket resources, disk queues, DCP queues, and service specific statistics. For example, let me click on statistics here. You can see summary, server resources, vbucket resources, disk queues, and additional statistics. You can select the desired bucket from the list of buckets available, and you can also select the nodes from this list box. And the stat currently in focus is cache emission ratio and you can select the time frame if you want to monitor the metric for each and every minute you can click on minute so on and so forth day week month you can select you can hover the mouse over the statistics to see the details of the particular stat let me go to my cluster and see how it works so i just clicked on cache emission ratio for the rest bucket if i want to see it for rest tmp bucket i can select that and right now 0.2 node is selected if i want to see for all the nodes i can select all nodes i can select hour day week if you click on any other metric the graph will be automatically updated bucket monitoring summary stats you can monitor number of ops per second, the percentage of cache misses, amount of get operations, as well as other statistics. So you can check all these things by clicking on each stat. Same way, you can monitor server resources, the amount of swap space in use, amount of RAM available, and the percentage of CPU in use, and the number of connections. Let's see that. You can see the connections. You can select any particular node. And we can see 72 connections for this particular node. Same way, you can also monitor vbucket resources. Similarly, you can check statistics pertaining to DCP queues. Monitoring queries. You can monitor queries from Couchbase UI. You can click on Query tab. There is a query monitor. You can see the active queries under active tab. If you click on completed, you will get all the completed requests. Similarly, for the prepared statements also, you can get the data. As per the information I got from Couchbase support guy, it is not recommended to monitor the queries from the query monitor, at least not the completed requests, because it will use more resources in terms of CPU and RAM. So at least for the production environment, it is recommended not to monitor these things from the query monitor. Better you run the same queries from the query workbench and get the data of completed queries or active queries. These are the system catalogs to get the completed request, active request and prepared. This is a command to kill a query. This is a query to get the total execution time of every prepared statement. And this is a query to get how many times a statement was executed. You can use this command to find the most used statements. And this is a command to find statements prepared by the most clients. Monitor indexes. You can monitor the total number of documents pending to be indexed. Same way, you can also monitor total indexed documents, average time to serve a scan request, and the percentage of fragmentation, and the other details. These are the commands to monitor using REST API. You can integrate the monitoring with these tools. For example, if you use Grafana, you can visualize the data and metrics with the help of graphs. You can also schedule email alerts. 
these are the external tools official couchbase exporter nagios plugin sometimes to troubleshoot the connectivity issues couchbase support team may ask us to generate the tcp dump and this is a command how to generate it hyphen c 500 means it's a 500 mb file hyphen w 10 means make 10 files then rotate from beginning hyphen w where you want the file stored and the name of the file so on and so forth other options thanks for your time see you in the next lecture